I'm Kevin Brinegar. What started as a rightful attempt to protect American steel and aluminum from cheap imports has now transformed to a potential global trade war with chilling economic impacts for Indiana and beyond. How widespread are the disputes with countries that are longtime trading partners? Washington is at odds with six of America's top seven foreign markets. These countries account for more than half of all U.S. exports. And most unfortunately, the effects could well hit close to home. Broad tariffs can quickly turn into what amounts to tax increases on Hoosier consumers and businesses. Products used in our homes every day and the materials consumed to build them will simply cost more. Retaliation on U.S. tariffs will lead to lost sales of Indiana products and ultimately lost jobs. Exports from Indiana to Canada, Mexico, China, and the European Union total more than $1 billion, with nearly 65% of that going to our neighbors to the north. Indiana jobs supported by trade total more than 800,000, or nearly one-third of our state's workforce. The Great Lakes Economic Region contributes $232 billion each year to U.S.-Canada trade. Decades of partnership and prosperity are at risk. Talks on the North American Free Trade Agreement have stalled. Indiana's agricultural sector, among others, is already suffering from the uncertainty. Our federal government can and should appropriately use tariffs and other measures to protect American steel companies and their employees. It should and must not recklessly battle allies and put our country and our state's economic future in jeopardy. It's time to end this fight before too many suffer from the unintended consequences.